So this is the final project and we have like three module to run it. So it's based on the customer. So if the customer wants keyboard, so this is the module and it's running behind the scene now. And basically the key with the customer will use the keyboard basically, any keyboard available. But right now because we have a PC, we're using the PC. So if I head forward, you see the action on the car and you hear the pulse now. And then if I hit the reverse, it's going the opposite way. And you see on the display, also displaying where we are going. And I can go back again forward. And if I want to turn right, again on the display, the display also right. And then the same thing if I go left, we do the same thing. And then I can go back again forward. And that will do it for this the demo. last module, which is basically we're making the car like semi-autonomous car, basically using the sensor to detect the object and then to avoid colliding other things. So basically, the moment I hit my module to run, the car will start running. So I'm just loading my module now on the Raspberry Pi. So as you can see, the car start running and you will start running forward. And then based on the sensor input, it will detect. So you. So I'm reading the distance sensor, so you see the measurement here? And that stops the car now because we are less than 10. So anytime at the distance becomes very close to the 10, to 20, first it's gonna turn right. And if it's continuous at 20 and less than 10, basically the car will stop. And that's what you see now. So the second module is basically based on a Bluetooth control. And we have Android app running very with the, the module. So basically I'm trying to connect to my Raspberry Pi now. And it's connected. And then based on the key that I'm gonna send it to my module, basically the car will be driven. So if I send one, the car will be moving forward. And I'm sending that feedback also to the user so he knows where the car is going. So basically you can see it is, the model is, is moving forward. And then if I do two, I will go the opposite way, which is basically driving the reaper. So it's kind of feedback communication also with the user, so they know if they're driving the car forward or backward. And then if I run and turn left, basically three, and the same message also coming, turning the car left. And you see the displays also show the, where the car is going. And if I do over four, I do the same. And then I can go back again forward. And then if I want to stop the car, it's basically I'm sending one zero. That's my command for the stop. So the car will stop.